Um, today I am going to be bringing you a review on the Scott's 13.5 amp electric tiller. Okay, I have used this a few times now, um, and I've used the gas powered ones as well. Uh, but um, today's review is on this electric job because that is where everyone seems to be going today. Electric cars and everything more battery powered. Uh, this is not a battery power, this is a plug and play. Um, so yeah, and uh, you will get to see a demonstration of how this works and my thoughts on it. Stay tuned. Right here, this section of grass that has been freshly mowed and weed whacked today um, is where I am going to be tilling with the electric Scott's tiller. Um, this is going to be my brand new um, garlic plot. So I'm going to be putting in garlic in here. So we shall. Hi, right, welcome to Review Time with Tim. Uh, today I am, um, like I said, demonstrating the Scott's all electric tiller. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of go over the quick ins on how to start it and get it going. Um, it was really super easy to put together. Um, very simple instructions, just a couple of twisty things, and that was put together. Now, because I've already used this previously, um, it's already set and good to go, so that's it. Just a little plug right there. It's got a little holder. What I tend to do is I kind of kind of hold up like this. Now, this thing will not start on its own. The start button's right here. If you see, I can press it. Nothing's happening. I can press the trigger. Nothing happens, okay? You're like, this is broken? No, it's not broken. You got to press the start, and then... <laughs> that's how it starts okay um, now if you notice if you're used to using a gas tiller this does not have the same amount of mm, to it okay it's, it's kind of sounds like a glorified hair dryer but it really does do the job so let's get started with some tilling can see it's starting to tip, tip it all up. Um, what I have found is that you, unlike in a gas tiller where you maybe go over two or three times and it gets the job done, this one you're going to have to probably do about five to six times over to really be turned up. Pretty nice. If you want to rake through the grass, you can. It doesn't till overly super deep. Maybe about an inch, maybe about an inch down or so on the dirt. Um, so if you need to get down further, you're going to have to keep going over and over again. That was only two passes on that. Personally, I like to have it a little more loose for when, my, when I till. So I will go over this about five or six times, and obviously I'm going to make this a lot bigger plot for my garlic in the uh, in the fall. For an electric job. Um, on a 1 to 10 scale for an electric tiller, I am going to give it a 7. And the reason for a 7, I feel like it still needs a little bit more juice when tilling the ground um, versus the gas counterparts. And I feel like it's just quite not heavy enough to really get down. Okay, like the, uh, the gas ones, they're heavier, they get down in the dirt more. This is just kind of super light. I mean, look, I can... I can just curl that with one arm, okay? Um, so, a little heavier in the front, dig up that dirt. So there you have it, folks. Review time with Tim. If you like my video, please hit the subscribe button and smash them likes. Check you all later. All right, so, as you can see, uh, as we can 
see here. Uh, now it's all tilled up pretty quickly. Quite a bit of grass stuck in the tiller, and there's obviously, obviously, you know, there's always going to be some of this stuff here. Uh, but after a few passes, about five or six, got a pretty good depth, and the soil nice and turned up. Okay, and I'm going to let this rest. And I might make it a little bit bigger because I want to plant a lot of garlic this fall. And uh, we'll see how it goes. There you have it, folks.